All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to do a Bitcoin miner update, and it's a special edition. I want to talk about reverse stock splits. There's a wave potentially coming across the Bitcoin mining industry. It affects a lot of the Bitcoin miners, so I want to actually go through the entire list, talk about what's happening and what does it mean. Has this happened in the past? I do think there's a lot of companies that are now probably going to have to do a reverse stock split. Some companies that may be able to avoid it and it will cause a lot of panic as it happens so if you're new to the channel please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell also if everybody could please smash the like button lastly you can join the channel and become a member by hitting the join button it's right next to the subscribe button members get some members only content we do a once a week members only live stream after the market closes every tuesday also members get to pick a company for me to do a deep dive on on that live stream so we do that once a week as well so we'd love to have you join us we have a lot of fun let's talk about bitcoin miners and these reverse stock splits that may be coming so first i want to show you the bitcoin miner big board so as you go down this list you're going to see and I'm not going to call them out name by name. We will go through them in specific in a few minutes. But you're going to see the vast majority of these stocks are now somewhere around a dollar or under one dollar. So at the point they become under one dollar for a certain period of time, they're no longer qualifying for the rules of listing on the NASDAQ. So I want to go through what the process is that happens. The initial thing that happens is they get a notification. I want to talk about what happens from there forward and how it affects the stock and how it affects the company. Okay, so first let's just go through the rule. I did a little summary of the rule. So essentially, if if you have 30 business days in a row under $1, then they fall out of compliance with the minimum requirements to be listed on the NASDAQ. So does that mean they get delisted? No, that means they are given a notice. They have 180 calendar days to correct this problem. So that's about half a year. So what does it mean to correct the problem? Essentially what that means is they need to get their stock back up over $1 and it needs to be for 10 consecutive business days in a row. So it can't just pop up to $1 out of the blue for one day. And, and then that absolutely sets the reset button. So if they fall out of compliance after that, they would then get a new notification and that 180 day clock would start ticking all over again. So there's, you know, one of three things can happen once you've received this notification. Number one, your stock can continue to flounder and your company can go out of business. Number two, your stock could recover on its own and get back over a dollar. And I'm gonna show you an example of a stock, a Bitcoin mining stock that did that this week. The third thing is if you're unable to get your stock back over a dollar, at some point as the deadline approaches, likely these companies, if they are still viable and they are still doing business, they will do a reverse stock split. So the reverse stock split would be just what it sounds like. Instead of taking one share and turning it into many shares, you would take, for instance, Hive Blockchain did a reverse stock split this year. They took every five shares and consolidated them into one share. So what that effectively does is it raises the price of your stock. A stock split and a reverse stock split actually have absolutely no effect on market cap of a company at all. It's a very psychological event. Now, if you look historically, a lot of companies that have done reverse stock splits have gone out of business. And if you think about it, that makes sense because in order to find yourself in this situation, it's typically on desperate times. However, with the Bitcoin miners, there's a little bit of a different phenomenon going here. They are pegged to Bitcoin. The question has more to do what you think about Bitcoin than it does about the company you're trading. Now, typically in the very short term, in the days after they announce that there's a stock split and in the days surrounding the stock split, there can be a lot of volatility surrounding these stocks. But what I'm gonna show you is in the Bitcoin mining sector, in the long run, it really hasn't made an impact on the survivability of the stock and the performance of the stock. So, you know, anything can happen going forward, but there are two examples of this over the last year and a half. And in both situations, those stocks neither overperformed or underperformed the rest of their peers. So the reverse stock split, other than adding some massive volatility in the short term when it happens, really has not affected either company at all. Okay, so I'm gonna bring up the entire list here. Stocks near or under $1. And then next to that, I have a column, date of notice from the NASDAQ. Hive is still trading at $1.44. They are still in compliance. So they have not received a notification because they're still in compliance. Iris Energy, also still in compliance at $1.25. I put these on the list because at $1.44 and $1.25, you know, if Bitcoin has another bad month or two, these companies are likely to fall 
out of compliance. Argo blockchain, okay, here's an interesting one. Argo blockchain received notification on December 16th. So that was just two weeks ago. They received notification and they were trading down at about 36 cents at that time. So already we are only two weeks later and they're back at $1.08. So they're in the middle of potentially putting a 10 day streak together to get back into compliance. So for them, because they had a major event occur, it may have only taken two or three weeks for them to get back in compliance. So this is what I'm saying. A notification does not mean you're going out of business. A notification does not mean you're doing a stock split. What it does mean is that the chances that you do a reverse stock split go up dramatically and something needs to change. A catalyst needs to happen over the next 180 calendar days in order to avoid that. Okay, so Hut at 85 cents, Wolf at 67 cents, and Bit Digital at 60 cents. They have not yet received notifications because they have not yet had 30 consecutive business days where their stock is at under $1. From there down on this list, everybody has received a notification. So I just wanna quickly go through some of these dates because you're gonna see most of these have happened quite recently. There are two of these companies that are running out of time. So Cypher just got a notification December 15th. Again, that was just two weeks ago. Stronghold got a notification November 30th. That was just a little over one month ago. Bitfarms got a notification December 13th. So that's coming up on three weeks ago. Digihost got a notification back on October 10th. So that's actually coming up on three months. They're now getting very close to halfway through their period of time to correct, and they are trading at 36 cents. So when you look at a situation like that, you're starting to see a stock with a much higher probability that it's gonna have to do a reverse stock split. And you'll see they are highlighted in yellow along with Hive Blockchain, because those two stocks have actually already done a reverse stock split over the last couple of years. Hive did theirs in 2022. Digihost did theirs in 2021. Okay, Green is December 13th. So that seemed to be somewhere in the middle of December. It's a lot of these companies ran into about 30 days. And that's because of the flash crash that we had in November. All these Bitcoin miner stocks took a hit. A lot of them have not been able to get back over a dollar. So in the middle of December, they all started receiving notifications. So Greenwich received their notification on December 13th. Now they are trading at 29 cents. So some of these that are down in the 30s and 20s, it is pretty hard to imagine that they will get back over a dollar, but it is possible depending on how much time they have left. So in other words, for a Greenwich that has almost six full months left, yeah, there's still a chance they could get back to a dollar. They Obviously there's always a chance but there's a greater chance given that they just got their notification. Unlike the next stock, which is any, which is Sphere 3D. They're trading at 28 cents, so almost the same price as Greenage. However, they got a notification in July 29th. So their 180 days is up this month. January 23rd, 2023, their time is up. They will either need to get back over a dollar, which is incredibly unlikely at this point, given the fact that they have three weeks from today, or they're gonna have to do a reverse stock split. So I think you can expect imminently to see a reverse stock split. I think any will be the very first one. So any is, again, that's Sphere 3D. I believe you're gonna see a reverse stock split in the coming days on this stock. The next one is Mawson, stock ticker M-I-G-I. They're trading at 23 cents. So again, this is a very low number. Hard to imagine a recovery to a dollar, particularly since, again, they got their notice on August 31st, 2022. So that means they're most of the way through their 180 calendar days. Their time runs up on February 27th. So they have a little more time. That's just under two months, but that means Four months have gone by since they went under a dollar and they're now down to 23 cents. So they're not moving in the right direction. They're moving further away from a dollar. So I would expect that to be the second reverse stock split. So I do think there's four companies that are, that is highly likely they're gonna have to do a reverse stock split. And they are Digihost, Greenage, Any, and Moss and Stock ticker M-I-G-I. From there up, I think it's way too soon to tell. We need to see how Bitcoin is doing because Companies like Bitfarms and Stronghold and Cypher, they just received their notice very recently. And you've got Bit Digital, Wolf, and Hut. They haven't even received a notice yet at all. So although obviously we've got to think about reverse stock splits, it's way premature to be planning on that. There's a lot of time to recover. And you can see just one positive catalyst, as is the case with Argo Blockchain, took them from trading at 36 cents to trading back over a dollar. 
Now, they're not yet in compliance because they need to do that for 10 consecutive business days, but it looks like there's a real chance that they can get back into compliance. So this does happen. So getting this notification that you're out of compliance, I just, my main point on this is it's not a death sentence. A reverse stock split is not a death sentence. And I'm gonna go to a chart and show you what I mean by that. Okay, so this is a chart I put together of the performance of the 18 that I follow and that I have been following all year. This is their performance from the entire year of 2022. There are two companies on this list that had a reverse stock split, one of which was in 2022. Hive, so you can see, despite the fact that Hive had a reverse stock split in the middle of this year, and there was massive volatility, and at that time, there were two or three weeks where my comments were filled up with, Hive's going out of business, Hive is done. Well, you can see, actually, as it turns out at the end of the year, they were the fifth best performing Bitcoin mining stock out of the 18 that I am tracking. So that reverse stock split did not really have any ramifications past just the fact that Bitcoin had a bad year and all these Bitcoin miners have gone down. So Hive actually out performed its peers despite doing a reverse stock split in this period. The other one that did a reverse stock split was Digihost. Now that was prior to January 1st, 2022. But so if we were to take from the time they did their reverse stock split until December 31st, again, it would still be just about 92% down. So you can see most of these companies are 90, 91 or 92% down. So that is average performance for these Bitcoin miners for the year of 2022. As you can see from this list, the two companies that did a reverse stock split, that reverse stock split did not skew their stock at all versus the rest of the 18 stocks. So I do expect more stock splits to come. I'm bringing this up because I get this in the comments a lot. Do you think there's gonna be a reverse split in this company? Do you think there's gonna be a reverse split in that company? And it's a fair question and it's a valid question and it is a concern and it will cause short-term volatility. But the bottom line is over time, it's gonna have more to do with the company's performance and the performance of Bitcoin. So I would continue to measure these companies on their own merit versus whether or not they have to do a reverse stock split. So again, this is not financial advice. So that's how they performed last year in the year 2022. And I'll just close out on this chart. Here's where they all stand. So if you wanna take a screenshot of this, this is where all these companies stand that have received a notification or look like they're getting near a point where they may receive a notification in the coming weeks or months. Hopefully this sheds some light on the subject. Happy New Year again. Thanks so much for watching.